Okay, so we're just about done with the print. And uh, when this completes, the platform should raise up to the top as it's finished. And I think that is done. So pausing and then it should raise up to the top of the platform. So, uh, as you can see, it's been printing for two and a half hours, and you still can't see if the print job is successful or not. It, it, it pretty much is level with the top, and there it comes. Okay, and as you can see. So you can see the print at the bottom of the, of the platform. Uh, back. Uh, so you can see the print at the bottom of the platform. Um, and it looks like it's all there and a successful print. So, um, right. What I'm going to do now is show you how I take the print off the boat platform and uh, what we need to clean it up. So I'm going to reset the cameras and then we'll get, take it from there. Okay, so gloves back on. This container is full of isopropyl alcohol so what I've got is a plastic tub and um, it's kind of gnarly in there to clean it out every now and again I just actually go and leave it in the sun it goes and dries up all the resin but uh, what I'm going to do now is build plate comes off and I usually just put it up in here so that uh, and I use a scraper and sharp side down um, there we go so quite often that's all it takes to get the print off. And pretty much straight into the isopropyl alcohol. Alright, that's clean. And can go back on there ready for the next print or for a cleanup. Um, usually I sort of clean up into the night or start another print to let it run. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put the lid back on here now. And all right, so what I'll do with a print that's now in there. I'll often just close it up if it's nice and small like that that it goes in there seal it and just shake it for a bit what the IPA does it essentially thins down the uncured resin that's left on there and cleans up the print to leave only the cured resin behind. Um, shaking it helps just to just to dissolve that and to clean it off to get it to where I want it. Okay. Alright. 
that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, once it comes out of the IPA, I'll break the supports off and sometimes these come off easy, sometimes it can be tough. Uh, and undoubtedly that's still going to need some cleanup afterwards. But essentially that's that done. Uh, so sometimes I'll drop that back in there and just let it soak in there for a little bit longer uh, while I clean up uh, the print. Okay, so what I've got here is just a sheet of glass that I, that I like to work on and it just keeps the, you know, it, it kind of defines the area where I work on. This thing is kind of covered with resin, but once again, uh, to clean this up, I can either scrape it down, wipe it down with IPA, or you know, just go and stick it in the sun, and it'll go and dry it out so that it doesn't, um, so it's not sticky anymore. Um, right. So once this is, oh, I'm gonna find it. Once that's done, uh, I'll clean this up, close up everything. All right, so I'll take this um, and then just blow it with an air compressor just to, to clean off all the, the IPA. And essentially that then goes under a UV light for curing. Now for a UV light, This, which is essentially got a strip of UV LEDs in there, uh, I'm just gonna go blow this with some compressed air to clean it. Okay, so that goes in there. Now, they're one of a few different ways. Some people then go and run this under water. I find that water makes it look uh, kind of cloudy. <clears throat> so, I tend to just do it like that and different resins behave, behave differently in, in this regard. Some of them are quite happy uh, if you okay. so some of the resins are quite happy to to go in the uh, un under the UV light after after they've been uh, printed and just cleaned off most of it uh, like the fun to do resin I found that it, it actually goes white uh, and gets like burn marks uh, when it comes out from from under the light but right I'm gonna leave that in there for a while let that let that cure up I could leave a print under a light like that for anything from you know 10 minutes to an hour depending on on, on the print and how, how big it is to try and get it to cure up and if the sun's out, I'll actually just go and put it in the sun because that, that tends to work very, very quickly and, and, and dry it up solidly. Right, I'll stop there and then uh, catch up in a bit. Right, so there you have it. Prints are done. That's what they, they look like when they come off. This is one I did previously and this is the one that I did in the video. They came out really, really nicely. But what I need to stress at this point as well is that they don't come out perfect every single time. You are going to have failures. It is going to be hard to get it right sometimes, but you just need to do it over and over and you'll get better, better, better. 
and eventually it's going to be a lot easier and you're going to have a lot less failures than you're going to have actual successful prints. The prints here are quite quite yellow and what I like about this resin is it's quite easy to put a bit of pigment in. This is the same resin just with some blue pigment in it and the print on that came out really really nicely and then what I did for a, for a few prints later I actually watered it down a bit and there you can see a little bit lighter but those are the nice prints nobody ever shows you the prints that don't come out nicely and this was that print on the first try came loose the supports were funny and there you can see what I mean by the supports will actually recover under flash print and you can see it sort of caught it and for the most part that would have actually been a successful print but right at the start over there it didn't come out nicely and for that reason you can see that that should have gone down as it was there so a failed print and I left that as it was it's still an example of what's going to happen inevitably with with this so not all your prints are going to be perfect all the time but it's school fees as you as you learn as you get better at it as you you figure out how supports work better the results with this printer are going to get better and better and better but this is a very, very hard learning curve and you do need to know that. So I hope you liked the videos. Please subscribe to the channel. In general, it's just 3D printing and any, anything that you'd like to know more about, feel free to, to post comments and ask me about that and I'll see if I can do videos. But um, yes, thank you very much for watching. Thanks a lot.